back to my channel. I'm very excited because today I will be sharing my monthly favorites or beauty in review, beauty, skincare, fashion, lifestyle favorites for June. And the exciting thing is I'm actually filming at YouTube Space LA for the very first time. So let me know in the comment section if you enjoy it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's move into what I've been loving for June. So you guys know I am kind of obsessed with nude sticks and what I really cannot get enough of this month has been their Ripe Lip and Cheek Pencil. I'm wearing it right now on my lips. I've been wearing it as my blush and my lip color and I really, really love it. What's so great also is I don't have to carry a lip liner with me and I don't have to carry any brushes. I have a whole product review video focused on new sticks and how I use it. So if you're interested, I will have it pop up in the cards over here. Just click on it to watch or check it out in the description box below. Ripe is just the most perfect coral color. I really have trouble finding orangey tones or coral tones for my skin tone and I don't like it a lot because it usually makes my teeth look yellow. However, Ripe is the perfect balance of just enough pink, just enough coral, and I just think it's so pretty for summer. Two more colors I have been loving in June is the Immortal and Twilight shades from Nude Sticks, and I mentioned this in one of my weekly favorites as well. These are not new shades to Nude Sticks, but it is like what they're recommending for summer. They are the magnetic eye pencils, which mean they set and they do not budge because I promise you I have cried and sweat and worked out in these and they do not budge. And a tip is to use an angled brush and kind of get the color onto the brush by wiping it on there and then using it as a liner. You guys know I'm a huge stickler for sunblock, especially using a really high concentrated physical sunblock every day on the face. Physical sunblock is going to protect you from the sun's UV rays and all the harmful damage it does for wrinkles and you just look older and bad. So what I've been loving is the Clarins UV Plus HP Multi Protection Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Light. And why I like this for every day is because it's a very sheer, thin fluid. However, it is tinted. So a lot of people don't like sunblock, especially a physical one with zinc and titanium dioxide because you get that white cast and you kind of look sickly. This is tinted, but it's not a foundation. It's not anything that's going to cover your skin, but it will get rid of that white cast that people tend to not like. And I also find it nice if I'm not going to wear any makeup because it gets rid of any redness or any slight discoloration. It also is just so, so sheer and non-greasy. It doesn't do anything weird on my skin. It hasn't broken me out. And it has SPF 40, which is good. I always recommend using something at least SPF 30 or higher. Of course, if you're going to be in the sun, make sure you reapply your sunblock consistently. Sticking with face, I did a full first impression review and demo video on the Too Faced Born This Way foundation that just launched online June 15th. I actually really like this. I'm wearing it today. It's a very nice medium to full coverage foundation, very buildable. It's oil free. It has coconut water and rose water in it. So it's very hydrating for my dry skin, but it's not going to be overly hydrating for people with oily skin. This month has been all about blushes and cheeks. I've been wearing less eye makeup and more on the cheeks to kind of wake up my face. This is from Soap and Glory. It's Peach Party, and this is just really, really pretty. I've been wearing, I'm wearing this all over my cheeks today, and you can swirl it and blush it on like blush, which is what I did, or you can use the individual shades as eyeshadows or highlights and things like that. Soap and Glory is a quite affordable brand if you're in the UK, and I believe they're bringing it to the US in drugstores, so the price will drop a little bit versus how it was at Sephora. I think it's really pretty. It's very corally and peachy and brightens up my face without being like overly done. And I'm just really excited that Soap and Glory is coming to the US. The other blush I have been loving and I still have to upload that video. It is from my Selfridges haul in London. It is the Tom Ford Summer Blush. It's called Pink Sand and it's the cream cheek color. This is absolutely stunning on all skin tones and this is the first blue toned pink blush I have ever been able to wear. I tend to wear warmer blushes because of my skin tone. It's just what I gravitate towards. So if you get anything from the Tom Ford Summer Collection, I highly recommend checking out the cheek color. 
I'm sure you guys are going to think I'm weird, but I have something I want to talk to you guys about. It's called Crystal Wash. <laughs> and Sarah's behind the camera laughing at me right now because I've been like, you have to try Crystal Wash. And I have a whole demo video and explanation video about Crystal Wash, so I won't go too much into it. These are amazing. So if you guys don't know, my husband and I suffer from eczema occasionally, and I haven't had an outbreak of eczema since I started using this in for my laundry. I've been washing my clothes for a month now with these, and they're just, they're just so good. It, they're detergent-free, chemical-free, perfume-free, fragrance-free. This is something that I feel like if you have a kid and your kid has skin allergies, you really, really need to try this out. I just think it's awesome. and. I know I'm like totally turning granola with my laundry because I've always been using dryer balls. I've been using dryer balls for about two years now and now I've switched over to not even using laundry detergent. Now all my clothes, all of my delicates, all of my workout clothes and my normal clothes I do wash with crystal wash. However with my towels and my sheets I've still been using regular detergent that I just still have. With towels, I feel like I do need to bleach them because they are white towels and my husband gets them kind of dirty. But however, with clothes and any delicates and especially my workout clothes, I've been loving using Crystal Wash. And the, what's so great is you get a thousand loads of laundry with these and they're $50, but I have a discount code for $40. So you really get a lot of loads versus laundry detergent which if I go to Costco to buy is un uh, just under $20 for that giant gallon of laundry detergent so it, it balances out you pay more up front but it lasts longer and every two to three weeks you put these outside in the Sun for the afternoon to recharge the little ceramic beads inside so I really have loved these I know this is so weird but yeah I'll link the video for this as well in the description box so you guys know I tend to listen to a lot of audible books and as well as occasionally read a book. What I like to read like hard copy books of are things like this and this is the How to Be Parisian Wherever You Are, Love Style and Bad Habits. This is written from four Parisian women and they're very successful women. I really have been enjoying this book. I picked this book up because I've been seeing it a lot on Instagram and my friend Christina like has read it three times now. Also I was kind of missing Europe and I really was kind of like sad that I was back <laughs> at home so I thought I would pick this up and I haven't finished the whole book but I've gone quite a bit through it and I think it's just a really great book because the chapters are really quick and short so it's nice to be able to like read if you're waiting for something or if you're just having breakfast and you want to do something other than stare at the wall because I can't do that I have to be doing something at all times so I think this book is really fun it's just like it's it's cheeky it has some cool tips but it's also very sarcastic and fun and and just it makes me happy and there's like pretty pictures things like that so I highly recommend this book if you want to pick up something in hard copy and just kind of have it around and pick it up whenever you get a chance to read through it so that is everything I've been loving for June I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also leave me a comment with what you've been loving for the month if you tried any of these items out because of me or if you have anything you'd like me to try out I love hearing from you guys I try to respond to every single comment basically if I don't respond it's probably because you have comment responses turned off also don't forget to follow me on snapchat Instagram Twitter and I'm now on Periscope so definitely check me out I do live streaming Q&A's constantly on Periscope usually about every other day and I'm gonna roll into the bloopers now okay bye June, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs what is that <laughs>